If it's Wednesday, it's Hump Day Hangover. Greetings everyone, I'm Bart, the Success Educator, and today's topic is Don't Stop Believing. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, or join me with a cocktail, and let's get started. This is Hump Day Hangover. Congratulations. It's week 30. You've done it. This concludes our 30-week challenge, but your journey is just beginning. Now, over the past 30 episodes, you've developed and refined significant and powerful traits and habits. Your family, your co-workers, your friends, and yourself are starting to notice. Now, you may also be noticing some substantial changes and other areas of your life. Maybe you've been successful with weight loss or with exercising. Maybe you've experienced financial gain. Or maybe you've been kicking a bad habit. Success breeds success. And the more you commit to living life by your design, the more life skills and confidence you begin to develop. And you also know and have learned the power of course correcting and know when it's necessary to course correct. Now, this episode, as with all, come from my best-selling book, My Moment to Succeed. Go out to my website, successeducator.com. There you'll find a link out to Amazon where you can purchase the book. I'll personalize it and autograph it for you. But let's get back to this topic of don't stop believing. This is probably my favorite topic of all 30 episodes that we've done. Be cautious, though. Let me give you one little piece of caution. You may hit a wall and you may feel frustrated and disappointed. In fact, let me rephrase that. You are going to hit a wall, you are going to feel frustrated, and you are going to feel disappointed. But remember, pencils have erasers for a reason. To err is human. We all make mistakes. And think about when you erase with a pencil. Residue is left behind. But don't see erasing as correcting a mistake. Rather, see it as improving. The residue you leave behind is proof you are accepting change. Now, when a mistake becomes an improvement, you're demonstrating that you understand that there is no such thing as a mistake if you learn from it. Because as we've learned, when you learn from your mistakes, Those mistakes become learning experiences. And course correcting also validates that you are learning, that this is a learning process. Because you see, life is a test. Just like when you were in school. You know, sometimes you select the wrong answer. But sometimes your teacher may have allowed you to correct that answer by explaining the right response. Life is the same way. You choose the wrong answer, so what? You learn not to choose that answer again. You learn a valuable life lesson. You're stronger and you're more confident. And when this happens, you're stretching your limits. You're going beyond those goals you initially set. And as we've learned, there's a huge difference between goal setting and goal achievement. Now, when I was a teenager, one of my favorite rock groups was was Journey. And for the millennials out there, Randy Jackson is someone you may know. Randy Jackson was a member of Journey. And in 1981, they recorded a song that would become the anthem for dreamers, athletes, performers, and entrepreneurs everywhere. Don't stop believing. And much like their lyrics, I grew up in a small town often saw it as living in a lonely world. As a kid, I never stopped dreaming of a more rewarding life. I believed greater things were ahead for me to accomplish. Think back 10 years ago, 2008. The Los Angeles Lakers played the Boston Celtics for the NBA Basketball Championship. The Lakers' Kobe Bryant was the idol of basketball lovers everywhere. His mantra, as was depicted in a Nike commercial, 
was eight hours of training is nothing compared to a second of losing. And during the playoffs, when the teams went to Boston to the Garden to play, in Boston, they started playing Don't Stop Believing throughout the whole Boston Garden Arena. And the fans would sing along and they would cheer in a deafening roar. You know what happened that year? The Celtics came back to win the championship. They never stopped believing. Kobe never forgot the experience of that song. In fact, he grew to hate that song. And for two years following that loss, he would listen to that song every day in order for him not to forget the feeling of being so close to victory. Remember, nothing compares to one second of losing in his book. He turned a bitter experience into a better experience. You see, Kobe and the Lakers went on to win the NBA championship in 2009 and again in 2010. And he was named NBA Championship Series Most Valuable Player both years. And, for, and even still today, he will forever be known as one of the greatest players of the game. And why? Because Don't Stop Believing was the fire that lit inside of him to make him not stop believing. When you don't stop believing and you refuse to acknowledge what others may see as a tragedy, you set yourself up for a triumph. Now, someone I have a lot of respect for and I, and I follow in social media and, and go listen to him anytime I can is Dr. Willie Jolly. And Dr. Willie Jolly teaches that a setup is, I'm sorry, that a setback is just a setup for a comeback. Let me repeat that. A setback is a setup for a comeback. Kobe proved that was true. And you can as well. Now, in the classic movie, The Polar Express, one of my favorite artists, Josh Groban, sings the title song, Believe. And the lyrics to that song teach us that when you learn to believe, you listen to what your heart is saying. You know there is no time to waste as you have so much to celebrate. You believe in what you feel inside and you realize you have everything you need when you just believe. So believe you have everything you need. You've proven that and you're continuing to prove that. You're a person with a passion and that passion is becoming your purpose to deliver. So live your life by your design. You're destined for greatness, there's no doubt about it. When I was in high school, I had to learn several lines of poetry and one of them came from William Ernest Henley's classic Invictus. And what he challenged us to do was never waver in our commitment to be the best version of ourself possible. And he writes, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I challenge you to be the master of your fate and to never stop believing. Because when you believe, you understand that if it is to be, it is up to me. Let's talk real quick about our journaling activities once again. Start out listing the wins you've experienced this week and since the last time that we chatted together. And I want you to also think about what commitments are you making to continue your journey? And what does the term never stop believing mean to you? What life lessons from earlier in life do you recall? And are you still living those lessons? And what are your goals for the next 30, 90, 180 days and next year? Today's Bardism comes from Marilyn Monroe. It's very prolific, very poignant, and to sum it up, she tells us to never stop believing in ourselves. And what Marilyn Monroe said was, I believe that everything happens for a reason. People change so you can learn to let go. Things go wrong so you appreciate them when they go right. You believe lies so eventually you learn to trust no one but yourself. And sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. 
And when those better things fall together, that's when you know you never stop believing. And don't forget that gratitude list lists three to five things you're grateful for. And once again, thank you for spending a few moments with me today. Hit that subscribe button below. Click on the bell next to it to receive your notifications. Go out to my website, successeducator.com. Follow me on social media. And of course, visit The Success Store. And remember, what comes to mind when someone mentions your name, that is your brand. And make sure you come back for the next couple of weeks. We've got some very powerful hump day hangovers. I look forward to seeing you then and encourage you to continue to dream. And remember, this has been Hump Day Hangover. Ciao.